Nine days off between games. Let the dogs out. The guys want to play. <laughs> we, we all want to uh, have this. We wish we could have a, a fast forward button and just hit seven o'clock right now. It's a similar situation to last year. The Heat had seven days off after sweeping Milwaukee, then lost game one to Chicago in the second round before winning the series in five. Everybody pretty much on edge out there. Um, in practice, you know, Brown's on edge, you know, D is on edge, Bird is on edge. <laughs> you know, I'm on edge, so everybody's on edge to get out back out there. It's hard to predict how the Heat will jumpstart tonight. We had a good week of work. It's not like our guys, um, any of us went on vacation. Uh, we came with a mindset to get ready uh, for another battle. The Nets spent an NBA record $180 million in salaries and luxury tax to dethrone the Heat, then beat the Heat all four times they played during the season. It's going to be difficult. Uh, it's the second round. And, um, you know, this team has um, confused us in the past. And I think, um, you know, now we've... Um, I think we have a good game plan right now. At the center of the Nets creation are former Celtics Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett. It's the fifth time in seven years LeBron has met those guys in the playoffs. Lost twice with Cleveland, won twice with the big three, resulting in back-to-back -back championships. It's always going to be a difficult challenge when you're going against the best. Uh, and that's what they've been over the last couple years. It's almost game time. Throw out the regular season, it's the playoffs. They figured out a way to beat us four times, and it hasn't happened. So uh, we got to crack that code. The best. Some of the work days were very extensive uh, to the point where the guys said, hey, we'd, uh, we'd rather have been in a game seven to push this series rather than these uh, conditioning sessions. I think we're all uh, ready to listen to Spo in a different uh, setting. <laughs> I say that with uh, the nicest way possible. The Nets looking kind of loose at shoot-around this morning. Just come off a seven-game series against Toronto. The Nets, you know, they swept the regular season series with the Heat 4-0, but it's 0-0 now, although the Nets point guard says that the regular season does count for something. We did have some success against them, you know, and, and wow, I said that's out the window, you know, because it's a new season now. The playoffs is a, is, a, is a totally different thing. You know, it's definitely some things we can take away from, from you know, what we did good during the regular season and apply it. It's not quite a robbery yet, but in a few minutes, that will all change. You can't run away from competition. We don't expect to and we don't want to. If you want to, you know, try to win a championship, you got to go through the best. And right now, uh, we're facing the best. The buildup for the Miami Brooklyn showdown started last July when the Nets added Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett and started screaming championship. It was apparent the teams would clash. No, we thought when we played them in Boston, we thought we, we, we buried them. <laughs> then we got Ray, Doc left, we like, yeah, we, and here they go. You know, uh, they're the same guys, uh, big time players, uh, some of the greatest players of all time. And, um, you know, they bring that poise, leadership, and uh, talent to that team. Due to the fact the familiar faces have gone head to head for almost a decade, no matter the color of the jersey, the names on the back still garners a heated respect. With us, uh, those two guys, they may be wearing black and silver, but there's green underneath it somewhere. So that's, that's all the same with us. I really don't have a relationship with anybody in the NBA outside my teammates. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, these are guys I respect. You know, I've been to the All-Star game with a lot of them. Uh, but, you know, it's just a mutual respect.